Hello guys, in this uh, 10 minutes tutorial I'll show you how to add uh, a lot of postures and even animated sections to a single scene, to a single uh, FBX file if you wish to export it. And it will save a lot of space for you uh, against exporting a lot of models. Um, and uh, the point is that the studio won't let it to do uh, in an easy way by default because the default timeline and keyframe manager uh, is adding a default hermite interpolation between the frames, making it uh, like smooth transition, which is not an expected one and not, a, not a, always a good thing. Uh, here is the result which I, which you can also have if you follow my tutorial. Uh, a lot of postures which are static ones, clean between them, clean space between them, and also some animated uh, sections in a single file. So let's start from the initial scene from the blank one and I load it again because some glitch happened, some keyframe happened in here. I will load it again. Okay, now it's absolutely clean, no keyframes in here. And let's extend our timeline, for example, for 500 frames. And then uh, what we would like to uh, start from is to add some static postures to this timeline I have already prepared. For example, this baby cobra posture. We have a scene which I uh, paused it and then I saved it as a posture because if I load the scene, it will replace the, the one which I'm working with right now. So to do this, it's an easy task. You you just uh, open one more window of one more instance of Death Studio, and then you select your scene, and then you just uh, command to file save as and the, as a post per set, and then you select the output folder for this post. Uh, output folder will be the baby cobra per set. In this case, I will. Uh, replace it and here is it also some kind of a tricky thing if you want to, uh, this to be saved as a pose it means that only one frame you should select the current frame only and for this case I don't have any any more keyframes so it's a right decision I select it and one more tricky thing is uh, when I updated my Cobra press set it won't be updated or appeared in here because this instance don't know about it so we should refresh the folder pressing the right mouse button and then select refresh. Now I can go to the frame number 10, for example, and to add my first static posture. And then I can follow and uh, go further and add one more static posture and the third one. So quite fast, right? But the uh, tricky thing is that, as I already said, that as you already uh, should know that this studio applies the hermit interpolation not as an option, but as a must. And, and uh, in this case, it may be okay because if I export this model to my uh, application and say to my application, not use these keyframes, just use the uh, exact frames and it will be okay. But uh, I'm kind of a perfectionist and I would like uh, these frames to be empty or at least uh, I, I'd like to have a constant transition. And uh, this studio don't, uh, doesn't have any tool to do that except of uh, purchasing some additional plugins. Or you can use the script by mcasual who is famous on the Death Studio forum to have uh, having a lot of and crea creating and uh, sharing a lot of scripts uh, free of charge uh, actually. But for sure you should uh, say thank you to him. And I'll link uh, his site and this exact script uh, in the description of this video. And to apply this script to our uh, timeline, we should first download it and then uh, unzip and then go to the window panes, uh, turn on the script window, script ID, and this kind of a window will appear. And then uh, all I should have to do is to open the script I just downloaded. And this is the proper version for the Death Studio 4. And now I just can execute it if I didn't. Yeah, uh, I select the whole animation range. In the case, I have only static static poses in here. And then select the constant interpolation instead of hermit interpolation existing. So let's wait until the script is executed and let's check the result and nothing has happened because we forgot to select all the nodes before running the script let's try again 
uh, select animation range, cancel depletion, and apply it. Okay, and as we can see, everything is absolutely fine and clean. Just one posture, follows by another one. Uh, and this is only the uh, start. I'd like to add an animated one. Let's start from the 100, keyframe number 100. And I already have some animations prepared. And also, if you would like to save a scene which is animated, uh, to save scene as an animation, you should go to the another instance of uh, the studio, select your scene, and then instead of saving it as a single frame, you are saving it also as a post preset, but in this case, it will be saved differently. Uh, Bell of Suyama, and then I uh, say animation, replace, and then I select animated range here. Okay saving and then also don't forget to refresh the folder okay here it is and from the 100 frame i start to apply my animation by double clicking this and as you can see animation applied but it has applied with uh, some discrepancy and the point is that my bellows fiyama has only upper torso animated so the the lower one won't update it from the previous one so it's still sitting and how to fix it, one of the possible solutions is to save the Belosuyama initial posture, initial pose, it starts from initial keyframe and to uh, load it into here. So it will update all the keyframes existing. And now it works okay. And then let's go to the uh, keyframe and add one more animated section. For, for example, it will be bicycle animation here. And as you can see, the studio also adds this animation between. It's not only the transition between the, uh, the last one and the first one frames. It also spoils animation uh, between the um, minus one and plus one frames. So you can see now the figure is jumping, which is not desired at all. So what we can do is to apply the constant interpolation between this frame and that frame, but it is still not working. And if you take one more frame uh, before, this script won't work for you as well. There is a tricky thing which I'll share right now with you is that you should have some uh, guardian or placeholder uh, section with the constant interpolation to take uh, all this uh, Death Studio Hermat stuff on itself so i have this uh, initial posture which will work just as a placeholder for this section and what i have to do is to select a range which is exactly after my uh, animated range number one and between animated range number one and number two and this is frames are uh, one three one so i select the exact range one three one and uh, 199 and then I apply my initial postures in, in here. And then I execute the script. But not for the whole animation range, but for the play range only, for the selected range. And then I select the constant interpolation, apply, wait until script is executed. And then if I go back to my the whole timeline, I can see that, okay, here is my placeholder which is standing still. And then here is my animation, which is working as expected, not jumping in here and not jumping in here. So everything works absolutely as expected. Uh, and uh, you may say, but uh, what for I need the script? If I just uh, put the placeholder in here and then put it in here, it will also prevent my postures from being spoiled by this hermite interpolation, but it, it won't work. Uh, you will see by your eyes right now. Let's add one more animation later. And then, and then you can see that still, it is some kind of jumping in my uh, walking area. So anyhow, I should select this 231, 231 and till 299, 299, and then 
apply and execute the script for the player range with constant interpolation. Okay, let's. And now I already know that it works fine, so I cannot return to the timeline. And to save time, I just can go uh, to the. Uh, not, not not right now. I'll show you how to do it faster. Okay, now no problem at all. And here I can uh, I can go not adding this placeholder between these sections, but uh, doing it y by one. So now I will add my placeholder, and then I go to 399 and the placeholder again, and then I select the range. Uh, like what, what it was 361 361 399 and execute the play range with the constant operation again and then I can not return but to go to my 400 range 400 and add the animated posture right now like our bridge for example and it will extend okay no problem so uh, here is the way it worked for me it worked for me and I hope it will uh, help you as well we have now a single scene with a uh, standby postures with static postures and with animated ones without any discrepancies without using any additional plugins except the script which uh, uh, which is uh, mm, not mandatory if you use static uh, ones because it's just a matter of uh, how to say of uh, how beautiful it is right because you can say to your um, application not to use these ones but if you add animated frames then it's absolutely no way to uh, to make it work good without the script so big thanks to mcasual and thanks you for watching and good luck